Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jana. If you are new here, I'm a registered nurse working currently for Queensland Health in general medicine ward. On my channel, I do create a lot of nursing content. So if you are interested, please check out my nursing playlist. I do have a lot of videos there since I was a student, through my grad year, through my first years of a nursing career and up until today. I share my knowledge, my experience, my struggles as well. Everything I go through is in there for a different topics. So please check that out. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing Q and A session. I will be answering all your questions. In my last Q&A video, I have asked you guys to leave more questions under the videos in the comment sections, so I have gathered them all. And also, I've asked you if you're more comfortable sending them to me on uh, Instagram, through my DMs, feel free to do that because this is the easiest and fastest way for me to see your questions there. So I will leave for you my Instagram name here and also the link to my Instagram profile will be in the description box below. Feel free to follow me there. I also share a lot of information about my life in my stories, in my reels, in my posts, anything to do with my personal life or nursing, it's all in there because it's more like faster to do it there through my Instagram. So feel free to follow me there. And let's start uh, on the first question here. So I've been asked to film a video about stationery that you would need as a student when you're doing your EN course. I do have already video filmed for you guys about the stationery that I needed as a nursing student. I will link the video in the description box below. I have highlighted all necessary things that you would need as a student and things that you don't necessarily need to buy because I do understand that when you're a student, you have to be thinking about um, your petrol cost when you go on a placement. You need to stop working when you go on a placement. You need to buy the uniform, which is very expensive, books and everything else. So I made it video very easy and useful in terms of things that you only need to buy that you would need. And remember, I have done my diploma of enrolled nursing full-time course and I have done my bachelor of nursing science. So all in total, I've been through two different degrees and I've learned kind of what I needed to buy and what was just a waste of time. So feel free to watch that video there. The next question is, um, one of you guys asked, Okay, I've been really good in high school and mathematics, but I hated my chemistry. I've heard that nursing degree has a lot of chemistry involved in it, and I'm just afraid that I won't like it and it will be hard for me to study. Can you please explain? Okay, so nursing is not much uh, about chemistry. Yes, you will learn different reactions that happen in your body. You will learn about osmolarity, fluid shifts, and all of that. But you're not a doctor, you're not going to be going into much of a detail there. So you will just learn the basics. So if you hated chemistry back in a school, that's fine. Okay, the aim of nursing is to put a focus on your pharmacology, on anatomy and physiology, so you could know where the things are situated in your body, where the liver is, where the heart is, how it works and all of that. You will learn how the medications affect the body and the processes going in there. So that would be your pharmacology. You will learn how to care for the patients as well. Things like that, you will learn low, but you're not going to go too much into the chemistry of the body. So don't stress out and that should be fine. A lot of people ask me about math. So they say like, oh, is there a lot of counting involved in nursing? I'm afraid because I wasn't that strong in formulas and all of that. Look, when you will be working as a nurse and when you will be studying nursing as well, yes, you will use a small amount of formulas to calculate the doses and different medications and conversions as well. But it's nothing dramatic, literally, guys. If you compare your algebra at high school with all amount of the formulas that you go through in your curriculum to the formulas that you have in your nursing diploma or bachelor it's nothing seriously it's so simple very very simple so don't stress out about it you will get the basics during your studies and that would be enough for you to calculate the doses of the medications once you start to work in the real world in case if you're wondering why i speak funny i do have my invisaligns in so some of the words is hard for me to pronounce 
so please don't take it as a fun or a laugh at me because I do have my Invisaligns in. Okay, the next question is, hi, are placements 2 and 3 at the hospitals or aged care? So your placements 2 and 3, uh, and I assume you're talking about Diploma of Enroll uh, Nursing because you do have three semesters there, you have one placement in each semester. So yes, your second and your third placement in Diploma of Enroll Nursing, they will be at the hospitals and they would be in different wards. Some of the facilitators may... Um, put you into different wards for a duration of one placement, which is four weeks. So they might rotate you two weeks in one ward at the same hospital and then two weeks in a different ward for the sake of the experience. If we talk about um, Bachelor of Nursing Science, usually the first year when you learn patient cares, you know, uh, safety, anatomy and physiology, your first placement in the end of the year will be in aged care, but then each following placement uh, from year two and three will be all clinicals. They do have added now called compulsory placement at mental health. So when I used to do my bachelor and when I used to do my diploma of enroll nursing, we had mental health placement in each and it used to be by choice they would ask us would you like to go and have your placement done in mental health ward or a mental health facility and for those of us who were interested in mental health or planning to work in mental health after graduation we would go and do a placement there i haven't because that was not my area of interest but now uh, I have talked to a couple of people that I know who study in Bachelor of Nursing Science at the moment and they said they don't ask them anymore, they just send them to do mental health placement. Uh, not for everyone, but just selectively, but you have no choice anymore, you just go and do it. So that's pretty much it. Your first placement is your aged care, always, and then clinicals. Next question is... Hi, Yana, do you have any tips on how to reference for your assessments at TIFE? Um, I think I did already film the video. I'll try to search for it and link for you guys in a um, description box below. But generally, I will just tell you here quickly. So your TIFE or your uni will tell you how to reference. They will tell you all in details, including how old the books should be when you reference from the book. Usually it's not older than five years. Um, so anything older than five years you shouldn't be referencing. They will tell you how many references, reference sources to add. Usually it's uh, not less than 10 for your essay or assessment. They will tell you what type of references to use Usually you shouldn't be using things like blogs, blogs, YouTube videos, some sort of shady websites where things are not um, approved. Your reference sources should be government websites, uh, peer-reviewed articles, medical databases like Clinical Key, for example. Clinical Key, it's a wonderful, beautiful database that was my favorite throughout my studies. However, this database is uh, subscription paid. Um, it used to be $65 a year back then. I'm not sure what the price for it currently is. And when I used to do my Diploma of Enroll Nursing, TIFE used to uh, add subscription for this database into our um, course cost. But when I went to USC, we didn't have it uh, added to our uh, cost. So we needed to subscribe to it uh, individually and pay from our pocket. Clinical Key is the perfect uh, database. Also, you can use the library online on your uh, university website or type. They have a huge amount of different sources that you can use as well and it will be supported by them for you to use it as your reference. So just follow the requirements that your uni or college wants from you and you should be fine. The next question is, I was just wondering when you do handovers and so on, are you usually located to the same group of patients or does it vary from shift to shift? Um, working in a hospital, um, so I usually stay in one room for three days. This is how the culture is on my ward. We usually stay on one in one room for three different shifts. 
So if the patients are changed in that room, uh, new admissions or discharges happen, that's fine. We would just stay in that room. Then on the fourth day, usually we go to different rooms. If that room is heavy, we have a high load patients there, then we would be for the sake of fairness between all the nurses on the ward rotated to different rooms. So that room would have different nurses every single day because it's very heavy there and you don't want to put the same uh, two nurses in that room twice because it's not fair to everyone else if the other loads are lighter. So yeah, but usually two, three days you would be in one room and then you would be rotated. The next question is, I was just wondering how hard did you find university? Was it much harder than type? Again, I already do have a video about comparison of type and uni, diploma and bachelor. I'll try to find it for you guys and leave it in the description box below. But generally just go to my nursing playlist and you will find it all in there. I've went like literally in details. The next question is, hi Yana, thank you for your videos, they are so helpful. Just to clarify, in the Bachelor of Nursing, how often do you do Oscars? Okay, Bachelor of Nursing Science at uni, we didn't have Oscars. Oscars is usually something to do with Diploma of Enrolled Nursing at TIFE. It's a little bit different for uni. We did not have Oscars, but we had every single semester practicals at labs and they were practicals like a small exams so you would learn something in theory you would practice it a little bit between each other and then in the end you're going to be assessed and marked that was about it nothing too dramatic or scary it was like a normal thing every single semester okay so no oscars uh, next question. Hi, Yana. Personal question here, and it's all good if you don't want to answer. <laughs> How old uh, were your kids when you started your studies? So my kids were eight and ten year old. Okay. Have uh, I have a two year old, and I will start next year. How was it to juggle everything for you? Um, I have this question asked so many times. I assume I have a lot of followers on my uh, YouTube who are moms with young kids thinking about doing nursing studies. I know it's very frustrating and scary to go into full-time specialist studies if you have little kids. So for me, it was a little bit different. I started my studies, which was Diploma of General Nursing, when I was still in a relationship with the father of my two boys. And he wasn't helping me too much and that was one of the reasons I actually left him because uh, we had already a lot of problems going on going on in our relationship but when I started studies I wanted to gain a profession I wanted to achieve something in my life again after having kids I used to have a bachelor in economics back in my country and I was quite successful working uh, back then but then when I met him and I moved out from my countries overseas from my country overseas I had my boys uh, I had my boys with one year and one month's difference in age between them, so it was like raising twins, it was really hard. So I needed to pause my life, I needed to put my life on hold. And when they were old enough, I decided to gain a second um, education. And this time I wanted to go in nursing, into medical field, because something that I wanted to do back then in my country as well. And he wasn't helping me, it was really hard. I needed to juggle between my assessments, practicals, my clinicals, my classes, coming home, cleaning, you know, he was not cleaning or anything. I needed to clean, I needed to cook. And then I needed to like prep myself when I was coming back from work, I needed to clean the house. It was a lot of dirty dishes in a sink. It was just a disaster and I needed to make another set of meals. And anyway, it's just a completely different story, which is not for this video. But when I have left the relationship and I started to live on my own, I had my kids coming in to me a um, couple of days a week and I was more free to concentrate on my studies because I didn't need to do so much of housework. I could actually invest that time into studying and just resting as well. So yeah, my situation was a little bit different to other people's situations. Um, I always say if your kids are still little and you want to go into nursing to study it, um, just make sure that your partner is going to be helping you just discuss that with him if this is something that he will be okay with um, in the long run because it's going to be a full-time study if you're going for a full-time 
and it's a dedication that both of you guys need to adhere to because if you're living as a couple you will need to help each other um, and if you have mom or dad like if you have grandparents to your kids just help them uh, ask them to help you as well if this is something that they can do and physically able to do so yeah just think about it before you go into nursing studies because it's a dedication it's a dedication of your time of your energy of your effort and uh, yeah if you have little kids just think it through um, the next question is Thank you so much for information and I was wondering, you have finished the EN in TIFE, uh, is there any chance that you can transfer some credit into your RN um, bachelor? Why do you still have to uh, learn three years? Yes, there is of course a credit, so if you do your diploma of enrolled nursing uh, at TIFE, um, that would be 18 months of studies and then you want to, let's say, go to uni and finish your bachelor of nursing science to become a registered nurse. You don't have to complete all three years. Again, we're talking about full time lengths, right? You don't have to complete all three years. So you will have a credit for one year of studies uh, at uni. So you only do two years of full time. I think back then I've got credit of eight units, which was equivalent to one year uh, of studies, which I didn't need to do. So I've done only two years of studies at uni and I've done full, a full course of uh, Diploma of Enrolled Nursing at TIFE. That's about it, guys. Um, the, next the next question is, hi, Yana, I'm interested in how many hours per week, more or less, you studied at TIFE and how much you do now at uni. Uh, just to have an idea on the workload, I know probably every week is different, but if you could just compare approximately, I mean, your own studies at home, not the uni hours, thanks. So the person here is asking about the amount of hours that I have done at home. So I have answered there, I said, I would say that amount of hours would be very similar between both TIFE and uni. It would be around 10 when I don't have an assessment and around 20 to 25 hours per week when I'm doing my assessments. And that was true. Um, if there, there are no assessments yet to be due, you would need to do some sort of studies, you know, and go through the materials and stuff like that. So that would be a little bit less. If you would be doing your um, assessments or essays, if it's uni, you would be spending about 25 hours or even 30 uh, per week. If you do have assessments due at the same time for two different subjects or close enough in dates, then you're looking at studying more. It was times when I needed to take a whole week of work and I've mentioned in my other videos that when I was doing my diploma and my bachelor, I was always working as a casual worker. I've never worked as a full-time, part-time or whatever. I was always casual. So anytime I needed to take time off, to finish an assessment, if it was a big or complex assessment, I would just simply not go to work because I was casual, I could control my roster, I didn't have roster as such, I was just picking up sheets and building my own roster. But if I needed to take one week in advance, knowing that my particular assessment is due on such and such date, I would just not pick up shifts during that week. I would maybe pick up a bit more shifts prior to that to have that allowance of savings throughout that week that I'm taking off to finish my studies. So that was just my way around it when I was studying and working, you know, being able to earn and have time as well to study. But once you start your journey, you will figure things out for yourself according to your style, lifestyle and also your needs. Um, the next question is, Hi, do you know the duration of Diploma of Nursing in Australia? Is it one year or more than that? So if you're talking about a uh, full-time Diploma of Enroll Nursing at TIFE is 18 months and it's very similar to the private courses uh, providers as well. If you go part-time, it's a double. I hope that answered the question. Um, thanks a lot for the videos. Can I ask what full-time at uni means? How many days a week do you actually have to go to school or have to plan time for it? So when you do a full-time at uni, it's a three-year duration Bachelor of Nursing Science course, and you will be going about two to three days a week to classes. 
one of those days a week would be three hours labs that's compulsory you have to show up for labs because that's the hours that they count for your registration once you graduate and apply with APRA but going into classes for uh, other subjects you don't have to like I had so many students who have never showed up in classes but when we had some sort of exams or assessments practical assessments at labs or a math calculation exam you would find hundreds of students out of, out of nowhere just showing up um, at uni campus that you've never seen them before and all those students were actually never showing up for classes they would only come for the times of the exams so yeah if you don't want to you don't have to go to classes just make sure that you only go to labs to do your practicals and that would be it i was the kind of person who would want um, to have my content delivered to me by visual uh, kind of way because I want to see the teacher I want to be able to interact with the teacher I want to be able to ask questions also we had a lot of activities in class when we were separated into groups and we were working together we could discuss things you know share knowledge experience that was pretty fun so that's just me I loved my classes Okay, let's pick one more question and that would be it and then I will leave the other questions for the next video. What advice do you have for a diploma of nursing student? What are the things you wish to know before studying nursing at TIFE? Uh, when it comes to getting your essentials at TIFE, when is the right time to purchase these essentials? So it's like three questions in one. It was just in one comment on the, the same person. So the first advice, um, what advice can I give for students who start in diploma? Uh, probably my main advice would be um, make sure that you have interest in this field because it's not easy to study and when it comes to work as a nurse, you need to have this passion to help people. If you don't have it and you're purely going for money, you're not gonna last long. And I've seen cranky nurses who work for money for the sake of money they're not good professionals they don't treat patients with respect they don't treat patients with empathy and compassion so this is very crucial for you crucial skills for you as a nurse to have and if you don't have this passion to help others if you're not compassionate or sensitive person it's going to be hard for you to work in this field because it's not an easy field to work at it can be demanding it can be hard can be very emotionally draining as well and also you need to think about the time dedicated to your studies doing diploma in nursing and also bachelor of nursing science will require a lot of your time and effort so think about that look at your lifestyle evaluate it think about will i be able to pull off my full full-time studies if i'm going for a full-time mode will i be able to dedicate enough of time for for my assessments will i be able to go to my placements and leave my work that i currently have as my source of income for nearly four or five weeks of placement that will be non-paid so just think about all of that time is very important and also your intentions your interest in this field um, in regards of essentials, I have already mentioned it earlier, I have a video dedicated to essentials. I would tell you and advise you buy your essentials after you have your cancer's day uh, passed. So when you start your bachelor or your diploma, usually you will have a certain period of time to study kind of for free. So usually it's about two, I think in a half months, as far as I remember, where you have opportunity to experience what it's like to be in a class, what it's like to show up to the campus a couple of days a week. I think you will even be able to do your start doing your first assessment to see the type of the load that is required from you as well and then about two months and a half or so from the date when you started you will have something called the Kansas day this is the date where if you decide to stay and proceed with your studies you will be counted liable for the amount that you have to pay for this course and if you change your mind after that that's it you still have to pay for that semester for example for the subjects that's uh, that have been delivered to you um but generally just give yourself that time to see whether it's something that you like and you want to proceed with and only then you can buy your essentials 
as a beginning you will only probably need like your pen your pencil couple of notebooks if you have a notebook uh, your little laptop you can take it with you to the class if you want to do not buy necessarily a new laptop for it not just yet um, what else you can also not buy uniform just in that short period of time but just show up in a black uniform and then after cancer's day if you decided to stay then you can invest into scrubs because back then the top scrub was 59 dollars which is really expensive anyways guys so these are the questions that i wanted to include into this video i will do another q a and i will be doing uh videos maybe duration of 20 25 minutes 30 max i don't want to make it too long so i can fit as much as i can of the questions into this duration of the video please leave more questions or keep leaving them in the comment sections below i see them all and i promise i will be adding them in my next videos for now thank you for watching my videos and supporting me on my channel and i will see you in my next videos